I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Flagler County is experiencing an affordable housing crisis, calling it not just somewhere to put a homeless person. County Administrator Jerry Cameron attempted to explain the complexity of the problem at a recent community forum held at the Flagler County Association of Realtors building. Cameron says it's not just the homeless who would benefit from affordable housing, it's seniors and recent college graduates. He also noted lower-wage jobs, those that pay less than $20 per hour, are pivotal to our economy, and those workers, too, need a place to live. The Flagler County Housing Authority says the wait list for subsidized apartments is growing, and builders are having trouble keeping costs down. Some also expressed a need for transitional housing for families with children who sometimes don't graduate due to a lack of a permanent place to call home. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. It'll be Operation Which Way on Halloween Day. Tony Magoo has the story. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office will have patrol units, bicycle patrol, and COPS will also have an increased presence on residential neighborhood roads where children are trick-or-treating. They will also have a traffic enforcement detail on Halloween Day at high crash locations. This detail will focus on speeding and aggressive driving. Sheriff Rick Staley. Lots of ghosts and goblins out walking around, and we need everybody to slow down, pay special attention, no distracted driving. If you if you plan to consume alcohol, make sure you have a sober driver. We will also be running enforcement details to remind drivers about Halloween. And if you find the deputy wearing a costume, it's probably too late. You don't want to end up wearing an orange costume? And always remember, if you see something, say something. Any suspicious persons or incidents should be immediately reported to the sheriff's office. For emergencies, dial 911. For non-emergencies, call 386-313-4911. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. Diabetes awareness will be the focus of an upcoming event in Flagler County. John Arking has the details. The Flagler County Board of Commissioners will again support Advent Health Palm Coast in its effort to raise diabetes awareness by raising the Diabetes Alliance blue flag at 8.15 on the morning of November 4th. Commission Chair Donald O'Brien will make the opening remarks to kick off the event. As we know, diabetes affects almost 10% of the entire United States population. And so to the extent that we can you know, promote awareness throughout our community in Flagler County about how to recognize the signs of it if you don't have it or you don't know about it, and also create awareness that it's, it's in a lot of cases, it's treatable. If you understand about it and how to deal with it in terms of diet and exercise and monitoring your sugar and all of those kinds of things. So it, it's, it's one of those things that we can have an impact on the disease and its effect locally if we can make sure people understand it and know about it. Among the topics to be discussed are the Diabetes Education, Training, Treatment, and Prevention Program that began earlier this year. Diabetes affects 14% of Flagler County adults, and it was identified as a local health priority during the last community health assessment. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Erkin. Celebrating sea life and paying homage to history. That's what a third turtle sculpture outside the Palm Coast Historical Society Museum at Holland Park is all about. The public sculpture project features seven turtles on the Palm Coast Arts Foundation's Turtle Trail. This one is a loggerhead turtle named Garfield. Garfield was an early marketing mascot that ITT used on interstate billboards, parades, and more. Come see it for yourself. The museum is open Wednesdays and Saturdays in the afternoon. Whom do I call if I see a sea turtle in trouble? Kat Eastman, the director of the Marineland Whitney Lab Sea Turtle Hospital, says start with Florida Fish and Wildlife. If you're out kayaking or on the beach and you see a turtle that's not looking in a good way, you call FWC and, and they basically help route you to us. Eastman said that many of the patients they admit are green juvenile turtles with a tumor disease, but they take all sorts of injured and sick turtles. However, unlike most hospitals for humans, we take everyone without insurance. To listen to the entire interview, download the Flagler radio app and then go to the Free For All Friday podcast. Tomorrow, you've heard from her all week, but who is Kat Eastman? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.